Who was the real Dobbs Waters right here? I welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening, and today we are opening up another Japanese boost of Japanese product. This is the Jewel Royale Round Two. I have no idea what this box consists of. All I know is is that I paid, if I remember, over five thousand yen for this. I bought this from a Mandrake. This is an old product that got released a few years, a couple of years back. I think this came out around about. A few, about a year or so later after I left Japan in 2017, so I think this was a 2018 box. I could be wrong, but I know it is pre-COVID era, so yeah. I have no idea what this thing consists of. I don't, can't read kanji, so I have no freaking clue. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what it consists of. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, you you look delicious. You're big, you're thick. You you look lovely. <laughs> oh, I like the look of you. And you're heavy as well. Very heavy. Heavy indeed. Let's have a look. Three, two, one. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Look at them sleeves! Look at the deck! Oh! Oh! More decks! Oh! More decks! Oh! We hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen! Let's see the sleeves first. What do we see? Oh, man. Jewel Royale. Jewel Royale. Oh, Jewel Royale! Jewel Royale! Oh, damn! Look at these sleeves! These are beautiful! Oh wow, I'm keeping them to the side. They look beautiful. They look like ones you'd want to put in an extra deck. But you get yourself one, two, three, four decks. What's this here? You got yourself some dividers. Anything else? Is these these are play mats, okay. Okay, okay. So we got some card dividers. I'll put them back in there. I want to get rid of the plastic this time. Okay, Jewel I see you. Round two. So it sounds like this is um, pretty much for people who want to start new in Yu-Gi-Oh! And they get themselves pre-made decks. So we got one with the Masked Beast. We got one with Relinquish. One with the wa Ancient Water. And then we get one with Lava Golem. I already see which one I would want instantly. And that is the Relinquish. I love my Relinquish. But of course... Lava Golem is also a dangerous card as well. It's a freaking Kaiju for all we know. And it's a burning one as well. So let's try and uh, open this one up. If we can. I love it that there's the weird cellophane cut somewhere. There it is. So let's see what these decks consist of. Are they all going to be holographic or are they just going to be commons? And we just got the normal hole at the front. No, we get some, we get commons as well. Okay, so this looks like Lava Golem and Metal Slime. Another common Lava, oh, damn. Three Lava Golems, that is so powerful. Okay. Mr. Tomato, oh yeah, look at this. This is old school. Sangan. Oh, Muffin Jar, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, there's Pot of Greed, there he is, we, we, we can't forget about him. Wave Motion Cannon as well. I have an idea who deck this is. This is Marek's deck. Oh, damn, this is the old school Marek deck. Oh, wow, I like that. That is really, really cool. Especially that you get yourself two Lava Golems. And a pot of greed, and a monster reborn, and a few other great cards. That is strong. Uh, my predictions for this one then. So if that looks like it's somewhere from the old anime series, apologies, people. I have to stop the camera. My camera's about to die. Apologies about that, people. So yeah, this one I think is going to be Mako Tsunami. That's my prediction. Because uh, who who else from the anime series that had water monsters more than anything? You can't think of anything. I think it's Mako Tsunami. That's why I think it is. And uh, I can't get into this pack. Come on. There we go. 
So let's see what this is. If we get if we see legendary fisherman, we know it's Maple Soon Army. Okay, this is the new generation of Maple Soon Army. Okay. Yeah, this is the new generation of Maple Soon Army. Okay. I like this. Mother Grizzlies. Monster Bomb, Bottle Greed! <laughs> Heavy Storm, Terraforming. I think this is a definitely. Oh, yeah, this is a strong deck as well. Oh, jeez! Very strong deck right there, people, especially with the um, field bonus card. It's definitely strong. So, damn right, people, that is really, really good. Next one. We know exactly who these are. This is the Rare Hunters, the ones that were in Battle City. It was pretty much the twins, like, you know, there was like brother and, like, two brothers. One small one, one giant one, and they're teaming up together. So this is the Mass Beast. Yeah, there's all the Mass cards. God, you get two of them. And Necrophia, and Hades, really? And another, oh my god, you keep getting them up, you keep, keep getting good ones all the time. Wow, these decks are strong, and I know a lot of these cast effects already, because they're old school. This is nice opening up something that's from old school era, so I like it a lot. You guys may not like it, because you guys like your new meta cards, saying, oh, these cards are trash, they're useless, throw them in the bin. Hell no, these are nice. But now, Willinquish. We know who owns the Relinquish. Maximilian Pegasus. If there is some amazing tunes in here, I will freaking freak out. If it's the standard stuff, I can't complain. But what I would really love to get, Toon Blue Eyes. I have not seen Toon Blue Eyes get a reprint in a long ass time. Skip go. Idol. Lava Golem, okay. Okay, this is interesting. Oh wow, really? This is all consistent just for Relinquish. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, damn, really? Okay, they definitely kicked up the storm there for Relinquish. They didn't even concentrate on the tunes at all. It was just Relinquish deck. I like that a lot, very much indeed. Oh, damn. So, out of all four of them, what is my favourite slash what's the strongest? Strongest is definitely the Lava Golem one, but my favourite is the Relinquish one. So, I'm putting Relinquish first place as my favourite. Then Lava Golem. Then the Water one. And the weakest one, I'm sure 100% certain, is the Mass Beast one. So, if you guys want to play a good game with people, I would definitely recommend buying this booster box, this product, people, from Japan. Yes, it is quite a little bit expensive, but you get yourself some some amazing holographics and some amazing staples for your metas for Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and OCG or play it for fun so if you guys enjoyed it I surely did make sure you smash the like button as always subscribe if you're new to the channel remember we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers if you guys can get that done I'll be shaving every inch of my body fully off with hair literally I'll be looking like a plucked chicken I'll be shaving all, I'll be, all the hair will get donated to charity, so if you guys want that happening, please do subscribe, it will help out a lot, a lot of people, including myself. With that being said, the people I'm going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I really like that, I think it was definitely worth the money. Very nice, for a very old product. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!